how to add employee accounts and give employees permission to access certain doors with the ALV2 system. Sign in with, with the manager's uh, login and click on setup right here, upper right hand corner. Go to staff setting. Now there are two situations here. The first situation you will see the SMS and for people with a second situation where you do not see the SMS, I'll be going over that as well. So. For the first situation where you see the SMS, let's add an account. So click on add here and you will see a brand new line pop up. So just put any staff code for the person, put the person's name, add a password. And this is the default expiration date of the login. If you do not want it to expire, just check the unlimited box. And on the right side, if they're a manager, you can select manager, otherwise select front desk. And you can uh, click on the um, so manager and then click on the SMS box. So you've created the login. Now we're gonna add permissions for that person to access certain doors. So we're gonna go to setup and submaster. And you see all the people's names here. So find that new person's name. In this case, it's test then click on detail you'll see this new window pop up so these are the permissions click on add and you'll see a new row show up on the drop down it's like room range and type in the lowest and highest room number to your property if you want that person to be able to access uh, room 101 through 305 and everything in between uh, you can set that up as room range and then click on apply here and then apply here okay so apply here there it is and apply here let's backtrack here a little bit so we're gonna do the second situation in which you do not see the SMS in the uh, setup and staff setting section this means that the logins and the keys that you can make for managers are separated. You would have to individually create the login and individually create the keys made. Uh, this is good for properties where only a select few people can uh, log into the, the front desk st station and make keys. And you have a lot more employees uh, in the property that you need to give keys for, like housekeepers that don't necessarily, are, are not necessarily allowed to log in and make keys for other employees. So if you need to create a new login, you just click on add and you add a uh, login for that person. In this case, this is gonna be test two. Add a password. If you don't want the account to expire, you can check the unlimited box and you can give either manager or front desk access for that person. Then click on apply to save your settings. So now we've created a new login and we're gonna look at the permissions for that person. So you go to setup and stat or submaster. Notice that we created the user test two and test two is not visible here because setup and staff setting that's only to log in to the system, not for making keys. So we have to, we have to individually create another, um, another key for that person. So we're gonna type in test two for that same person. And if you don't want their key to expire, you can click on unlimited and click apply. We've created the account. Now we have to give test two permissions to access certain doors. So you highlight the name, click on detail. You'll see this pop up here. Click on add and we're gonna select a room range. These are the rooms which this person is allowed to access. Rooms 101 th through 355. Click on apply here and apply here to save your settings. So now that you know how to set up the uh, employee logins and keys for situation one and situation two, I'll show you how to toggle between them. So as an example, earlier when you go to set up and staff setting, situation one was that you see the uh, SMS right here. If you wanna toggle 
to situation two where you have the logins and the keys separated. How you do that is you go to setup, system configuration. So we're at basing configuration and you're gonna check the issue SMS without specifying staff. Click on apply and click on okay. Let's take a look at the setup and staff setting once more. So setup, staff setting, and now the SMS box is gone. So you can toggle between having the keys and the uh, login separated, or uh, if you create a login, a key is automatically assigned to that person.